Hi everyone, I'm Jessica Jane Applegate. I'm a Virtus ambassador. Um, my mum put me into swimming when I was young because I was really naughty at school. Um, so it was to burn off energy um, and it wasn't to do it professionally, it was just to have fun. Um, and then I just started to enjoy it more and more and now we're here. <laughs> Um, I did judo at school and it didn't, it wasn't good because I wanted to just fight and not do the rules, so. Um, with swimming I could just put all my energy into my own lane and I wasn't near anyone else or, so that's, that was why that one worked a lot better I think. Um, I, I get up at 4am Monday morning um, and then I swim for two hours, like, so I get up at 4am, swim half five till half seven in the pool because I live an hour away from my swimming pool. Then I'll do gym from half seven to half eight and then I'll drive an hour home. Then I'll have breakfast when I get home, uh, normally followed by a nap. Then I leave at three o'clock to swim two hours, half four to half six. And then I come home and go to bed. And then I pretty much do that for six days a week. Yeah. Some days I'll have singles where I'll have the mornings off, but not many of those. There's not anything I don't really like, it's just I get really tired and I find it find it quite hard. Um, when it gets to Saturday, I'm so ready for the day off on Sunday. <laughs> and if we have competitions, they're on Saturdays and Sundays, which means I don't really get a day off sometimes, and that, that can be hard. But I don't really like the weather either, because it's dark when I get up and dark all the time. <laughs> Yeah, incredibly supportive. Um, as I said earlier, my mum was the reason I got into swimming. So, and she's done everything. She did all the driving to training, taking me to competitions, helping me on poolside, helping me in and out of my racing suits with my hats and goggles, buying all the equipment. So, you know, it all. my mum has been my rock and she's done everything for me. Um, so she's been incredibly supportive. I couldn't ask for anyone better. Um, and my nan and my, my, nan and my granddad um, was so excited when I got my gold medal and you know I can't really ask for better support. I just done swimming for the love of swimming. I never done it to win or do anything like that. It was just I really enjoy winning and I really enjoy swimming and we put them together. Um, but I didn't ever think about Paralympics because it wasn't until London that we were even allowed to compete. So I didn't think about it. It's really hard because it was 10 years ago now, but, um, and I was really young and just thought it was another competition and didn't take into account that it was actually a really big deal. Um, but yeah, I was, I was really pleased because everything that I had trained for went to plan. So I was really pleased with it and it was a good time and it was happy to get a gold medal in front of my own crowd. Um, I've won, I think I've won 38 now internationally yeah it is really good but I, I'm just not I'm not done yet <laughs> um, I still want to keep going um, and I just it's because I enjoy it um, it's really nice to do something that you enjoy as well as getting medals along the way I definitely want to go to Paris um, so I'm definitely training for Paris um, but I think ultimately I've gone for a period where I've not hit my best times for a while so get in my best times and potentially some more gold medals, then maybe I might be done. Um, probably learned quite a lot, um, as in I've learned probably more social skills um, from swimming because before I wouldn't really talk to people. And now with what I'm doing, I have to talk to people. I don't really, <laughs> I have to talk to people as soon as I get out of my race. So I've had to learn to deal with that, like interviews straight after racing and interviews on the telephone and, just talking to people, talking to British swimming. There's so many interviews that come with being an athlete, I guess, and getting medals. And everyone wants to talk to you about your experiences and everyone wants to hear about what it was like winning the London medal because everyone wants to know about that one. Um, and it's like that. And I think I've done three or four interviews since coming back from the Commonwealth Games and they were a week ago today. And it's taught me, like, life's not all about like the outside world it can be you can have swimming friends and everything that you do you can have people that are like you around you rather than people that you're not necessarily the same as you don't have to 
associate yourselves with those you can have people that also want to be athletes and want to be the best in the world as your best friends and you can all achieve everything together I think people struggle to understand that I'm not racing someone that's in a wheelchair they don't understand that we race other people that are just like us um, and I use my TikTok platform to try and help explain that to other people um, and the fact that I race other people with learning disabilities. I don't race people like Ellie Simmons, who's a dwarf. It's um, it's completely fair how we race. Um, and I think it's just hard for people to get their heads around because the Paralympics years and years ago was just for physically disabled people. Um, and people struggle to see disabilities that they can't see, if that makes sense. They struggle to understand them because they can't see it. Um, I can't work out the clock, I can't read half of the set, um, I won't remember, I'll forget how many lengths I've done and stop too early or I'll keep going until someone stops me. Um, gosh, there's countless issues. <laughs> um, but it's just me now, everyone's just like, oh, it's just Jess, don't, don't worry about it, <laughs> she'll, do, she'll get it eventually. Um, but I train with a really good group of people and like the other athletes. So they tell me when we're going or the coach shouts when we're going or someone talks me for it. Just keep going and just as long as you enjoy it, um, keep doing what you love um, and think hard work will pay off um, and you never know what's around the corner because things will just keep going and the more you enjoy it, the more you'll keep doing it and things will just transpire and you'll end up somewhere like me. Hi everyone, I'm Jessica Jane Applegate. Follow Virtus Sports and help us raise awareness about intellectual impairments.